Wilson, come on, man. What? Dude, between you and this dog, I can't even keep my floors clean. Look at your shoes, man. Y'all dirty tracking stuff through my house. What you trying to Rick James my house? Just tracking dog. Oh, forget it, man. It ain't even a big deal because now I got a weapon to use against you and your nasty feet. Look, I got the new Eufy Clean X8 Pro. As a matter of fact, I'm glad you're here with your nasty feet because now I get to put this thing to work. It's the Eufy X8 Pro. Oh, but I'm so excited about it because it's got some features that I really need around this house because I got this dog, I got my wife's hair everywhere, and this thing has this auto detangling roller brush. That's what's up. I cannot wait to see how this works. Then you got this two times 4,000 PA twin turbine suction. Dude, that is a maximum suction power. Pause. Let's go around to the other side of the box so we can see what else is going on in here, man. Oh man, I'm so excited. I'm gonna have me some clean floors, bro. All right, okay, I'll go back to this later. Look at this, two in one mop. It's got this little mopping pad right here, right? You just slap that on the bottom of it and it'll just kind of lightly mop your house. We'll go over that in just a second. But it's got a, a two in one mop and vacuum. And then it's got this accurate eye path and laser navigation. Now I've used uh, Eufy vacuums uh, previously and the iPath navigation, dude, it is nice. So what it does is just kind of maps out your house. It's got these little lasers that just kind of shoot out and it kind of just maps everything out. It can find a table, chair, whatever, and just maps out every room. All the square footage will be mapped out and that helps it just really clean efficiently and get every nook and cranny of the house and around the furniture without just keep, you know, bumping into it and stuff. Then you got this customized AI map 2.0. And that's the kind of the map I was talking about because now what you can do is since it's already mapped out your house, you can actually customize that map to see like your bedroom or your kitchen or whatever. And then you can tell the vacuum to just go clean the bedroom or just go clean the laundry room or something like that. But this right here, this is important to me. 45 days of hands-free cleaning right there, man. Look at it. It does have an asterisk, so I guess that just depends on how filthy your house is. But <laughs> 45 days of hands-free cleaning. Come over and check this out, man, because this is the, the base station right here. See that? It says Eufy Clean because that's what it does. What you do is you put your little vacuum bag in there. This is so cute. It's got a little vacuum bag. I don't know how long this actual vacuum bag will last. It looks like it will last a long time, meaning that you don't have to replace it maybe, but I don't know. I, I have no idea how many times you would have to replace this thing. I really don't know. But what I do know is up to 45 days of hands-free cleaning. You take this thing, you pull this little door right here when you pull it out. That way it doesn't spill out when you walk into the trash can. You open that up and then you got your hole right there. You dump it out and boom. But while it's in use, you need to just kind of put that into the top right there. Smush that bag in there. Close the lid and you don't have to look at that for 45 more days because that's about how long it's going to take for it to fill up. But let's take a look around the vacuum, man. So we got the vacuum here. Looks like your typical robot vacuum. You got your little dome right here with all the sensors in it. Got your little spot cleaning, your power button, and your home button. But this is where the action happens. This start is, cleaning. oh, don't start cleaning. What you, what you doing? Robot <laughs> not touching the I know it's not touching the ground. No, don't do nothing. Hold up, hold up. There we go. Robot not touching the ground. Please move robot to a new position. You hear me? Okay. So it does talk to you, tell you what's robot up. Robot not touching the it's, ground. I know, I'm trying to, to I'm trying to tell position. Wilson about you right now. Hold up, just be quiet. Let me see. You press that. Robot not touching the ground. <laughs> okay, let's just do that. Okay, now what happens robot is. Not touching the ground. Wilson. Please move robot to a new position. I'm not going to move you to a new position. I'm trying to tell Wilson about how your little stuff works on your insides here. So let's open up your little stomach, okay? Let's, <laughs> this, is, this is the belly of the beast right here. <laughs> All right, so we open up. This is your anti tangling brush. All right, you can just pull that out if you need to, if you get something in it or whatever, but. It should stay put right there because that is anti-tangling. Then you got your spin brush right here. This is gonna get your nooks and crannies and your corners and your sides of your walls. Then you got these off-road wheels. Look at that, nice suspension there. That way it can get over the door thresholds and climb over the carpet and stuff. And right here, you see these little hooks? That is for the mopping pad. So you just slide this mopping pad. But before I do that, I'm gonna show you that. You just detach it via Velcro because you can't wash it. Just detach it or attach it. Man, you sure do talk a lot, lady. And then, if you need to get it out of there, you just push these side buttons and you just... Lock pad holder removed. And she'll Enter tell you. Girl, you are very mouthy. 
Now we go to the other, well, not the other, we're still on the back side of it, but it's got this little push button right here. You just pinch and then you can pull this out right there. It'll tell you the water tank has been removed because this is the water tank. I told you the thing would mop. So you got your little input or a valve, not a valve, but your little inlet right there for the water. Just fill it up. I would not suggest putting like cleaners and stuff in there because it's really not designed to that. Put a little water in there, then it'll do like a light mop around your house. Like not deep cleaning, but like a light mop to get all the dust and stuff off the, you know, the surface and stuff. And just have your house looking tidy, you know what I'm saying? Without having to go in and clean all the time because you've got other stuff to do. In fact, I got somewhere to go. So I need to hook this thing up because I got to go run an errand real quick and get some tomatoes. But you just put that in there just like Water that. Tank installed. She'll tell you what's happening to her. You don't buy do nothing to the vacuum because she'll tell you what's happening to her. And then you can just pull this little bin out. This dust is the bin this is the primary dust bin. And this is where all the dirt goes while it's working, right? While it's out in the field working. You just open this thing up if you want to just dump it or whatever. Or if you need to clean the filter, there's a little filter in here. You just press these two little things. And then there's a filter you can just pull out, clean it out. But you don't really have to worry about this filter or dust this, um, this dust bin too much. Because like I said, this right here, see your hole right there? Once this thing is docked, once it goes back to its docking station, it just backs itself up in there, beep, 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 and then it just sucks it all up in there into that bag, and then you ain't even got to look at it or touch it or mess with it for 45 days. So, look, let me get this thing hooked up because I got to run an errand. Your feet are nasty, and um, yeah, let me hook this thing up, and then you can run to the store with me. All right, Wilson, got the thing all set up. Actually, there really isn't a setup. I just put down this little water pad. Just, you know, this is just for safety so you don't mess up your floors. I got wood floors, but then this is the basin. You just plug it up. There's really no setup at all to it, to be honest with you. I'm gonna just go ahead and dock it real quick. Push it in here, just like that. Make it go home. It's charging. And then I already downloaded the Eufy Clean app, which you should get. If you're gonna get one of these vacuums, you might as well use the, use the app, man. So I got the app going right here. You see, it's already mapped out my house, man. That's so cool. Look at here, look at that. You see these little four dots here on the left and four dots on the right, then four dots, you know, toward the backside of me. Those are chair legs and table legs. That's crazy, okay. No, come up, come over here, man. I wanna show you this, come on. All right. So if you look right here, right here, can you see this chair, man? Look at that. That, this right here, that's my chair, right? And then that's the other chair. And then right here over at this window, that's the ottoman right there. And then you got the coffee table. Dude, Wilson, come on in here, man. Is that cool? Well, it actually gets the legs and it's got the table. Raylan, I got something to combat you and all your dirt and Wilson and his nasty feet. So what I'm gonna do now is, I'm gonna go ahead and press play or clean. And you and I, we're gonna run some errands and let this thing do the work because that's the whole point of getting one of these like robot, robot vacuums is because we have busy lives, we got stuff to do, and I ain't got time to be sitting here sweeping and vacuuming all the time. So I can just let this thing do the work for me while I'm gone. So I'm gonna go get my shoes, I'll meet you at the car. All right, man, this vacuum should be hard at work. I see it. Oh, there it is right there. Cool. So it's still working. It's been cleaning the whole time we've been gone, which is great. So check this out. I got it mapped right here, man. It has cleaned all this. You see these little zigzagging lines? It was in my sitting room, of course. Wait, that's this is the living room right here. And then that's the sitting room. And this is the, what is this? That's my master bedroom. Wait a minute, where is it? Hold up. Okay, no, that's the kitchen. That's it's right there. It's the kitchen. Okay. <laughs> and then what is this? What, what is this little room? Oh, that's the okay, my bad. That's the kitchen right there. And then, oh man, this is so cool. But let me show you some stuff, Wilson. Check this out. So if I go here, all right, can you see this man? Go ahead. You know what? You can look at me. Look at me, Wilson. I, I need you to look into my eyes. I'm, can you can, are we good? Are we good? Let me, let me sit down because sometimes. You be playing on your phone and stuff while I'm talking and you don't be paying attention to me. So put your phone down, pay attention. I'm gonna show you something. So it's got 
uh, like customization. So if you hit this little mode icon right here, you get into some customization. You get suction power, maximum suction power, pause. So we got it on like quiet right now, but then you can go into like standard. You hear that? And then you hear the beat. And then you hear the motor, it's going Ooh, I can hear it in the bathroom. It is cleaning that bathroom up. Uh, let's put it back down to quiet. And then we have water level. I do not have the little mop on it right now. So I do need to mop because the floor is clean now. And I think I should just mop. But um, I want to show you this uh, boost IQ too, because while it's on the floor, the hardwood floor, it'll just go like normally, right? Nice and quiet. But once it feels that it's on carpet or a different surface, it'll ramp up that, that suction power and it'll just go and it'll clean that carpet. And then once it goes back on the hardwood floor, or the tile, boom, it's quiet again. Now let's see what this customized does. Oh, it's cleaning it, it's in progress. So, you know what? I think I'm gonna go ahead and stop it and then I'm gonna go ahead and start mopping because yeah, why not? Let's try that out. All right, man, you just fill up the water basin from right here. Make sure you don't spill too much water because we do have little electrical connections there. Let's just kind of pat those dry. Make sure all the SX water is gone. And then we're going to go ahead and just push this thing into the vacuum. Don't forget to put on the mopping pad or it won't work. As a matter of fact, it will let you know because this vacuum is very talkative. I'm just going to push this in here like this and then I'll flip it over and then I will put that back on there. And then, no, 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 don't do that. Let's go home. <laughs> all right, so I'm going to put this back home and dock it. Yeah, there we go. Now, where's my phone? I want to start this thing from scratch. So what we're going to do is it's docked, right? So I'm going to start it from scratch. And we're going to go into this mode button again. Now you can see where the water level says medium or low or high, but we're going to do medium because I don't want like a ton of water on my floor. It's a wood floor, it's a nice floor. Don't want to ruin it. So. Let's do that. Let's see what this customize button does. Oh, you can customize your um, your auto cleaning and auto room stuff right there. So I don't need to do that right now. What I need to do is mop. Let's see what this button does. Hmm. All right. So emptying the dustbin might cause some noise. Oh man, so much to do. I want to test the mop and I want to I want to see this dust thing. So that's what that does. Let's see what this does. Is it self cleaning the roller brush? You gotta be kidding me. Is it really doing that? Oh man, this is crazy. I gotta get in here, I gotta see. Okay, so nothing's happening up in there. It's cleaning the roller brush. Oh, that is crazy. Charging. Okay, so that's done. You know what, let's go ahead and just clean out the dust bin. Let's do that. Start collecting dust. I probably shouldn't open this one. Oh, snap. Wow. Charging. <laughs> hey, Wilson, I don't know about you, but I feel pretty good about this Eufy X8 Pro. 45 days from now, I'm gonna go check that vacuum bag and it's gonna be full and then I can just dump it and come back 45 days later. It's just like effortless cleaning. Raylan, I am busy here talking to my friend Wilson. Why you always gotta be in the stuff. Why you always gotta be in the stuff? Dropping your hair and your food and crumbs everywhere and your dirt. See that vacuum over there? That's, that. yeah, go, go talk to it and tell it thank you. Anyways, man, <laughs> y'all keep being good to each other and I'll see you when I see you. <laughs>